Happy New Year everybody! This is Susie from Ruby Rose Reborns and I'm here tonight um, with my precious little Camille by herself and I know my last video featured her but I was so excited about this her being swaddled up like this that I thought this is how I'm gonna usher in the new year with my little precious Camille and she's just looking so sweet there and thought I'd wish everybody a happy new year and go over some of my goals and some of my um, goals for my for my channel and just kind of reviewing some things that have happened this year and that kind of thing just a little chat and first off let's just go over Miss Camille's little outfit well, it's not really an outfit, it's a swaddle outfit. And I'll tell you, it is the cutest thing. She looks like a little rose burrito, honestly. <laughs> she is swaddled up there. The, here's her little feet. And she's completely swaddled in this. And I, I just, she just, Levi Sculpt is just the perfect sculpt to do this. Any, any newborn, the little uh, twins or Scarlet or any of them would be or any of Laura Lee Eagles lately but the great thing about um, Levi is that their little legs just you know are scrunched up there so it makes it nice anyway I found this idea from Christina's Reborn she's Christine I'm sure most of you have heard of her she's been on YouTube for a while she's a doll collector she has wonderful dolls. She has, uh, she has had um, some beautiful silicones and she, lately she has really been uh, into Levi's and in fact I tell you I think she influenced me because I was watching her videos and she has four Levi's now. I don't think it's five. I think it's four. Anyway I was with her when she started out with the first one. I thought it was just darling. And so she has been getting Levi's and I thought, well, I, I just, you know, she kind of put me over the edge to go ahead and get one. And of course, I got my sweet little Cooper and then she put me over the edge to get my second one because I really wanted a little girl after seeing hers. So anyway she had that little girl featured in one of these swaddle outfits that she got off of eBay I think and I did too it's not it's not an expensive um, outfit but this is really just a blanket and I went on YouTube and finally figured out how to swaddle a baby correctly and it comes with this uh, little headpiece as well and there's little boy ones and there's little girl ones and she had both of them in um, she she featured a couple of them in their little swaddle outfit so I got one and I got it a while ago when I first got Camille and I found it today when I was going through my dolly things and I thought we're gonna do that and we'll do our video tonight with her anyway so I just have been having a great day I put everything on my Christmas away the only thing I did not put away was my tree I took down all the ornaments and I left it over there in the corner and it is a fake tree that I got off of QVC a couple of few years ago and I love it because you can change the lights to white then to color and then to a combination and so I just couldn't part with it until maybe Saturday I'll put it up but the house is all clean everything else is done and I've really been enjoying that <clears throat> and we've got our lights off the house and all of our uh, yard decorations put up and so I'm just you know chilling out and I wanted to make some goals and just kind of oh but I I do need to tell you this it has been one wild weekend my daughter Katie she went to Virginia to see my son and his little family and they live in Williamsburg and they live in a really beautiful neighborhood. They have a beautiful home. Anyway, she came back home on Christmas night. About three days later, she started getting sick. 
and she started getting this fever and and she thought you know but she didn't have a cough that went with it or a sore throat or anything she just had this terrible fever but she thought oh you know the flu's going around and she did have flu-like symptoms and her joints were hurting and all of that well by friday night um i went over there and she had broken out on her legs and her thighs in these big welts and they were welts all over her legs all over her thighs and her joints just hurt so bad so the next day took her to the doctor to the urgent care and was there for 10 hours um, they were so slow and uh, she gets in and she sees a nurse practitioner, not even a doctor, and they tell her, oh, this really has the symptoms of Lyme disease. Well, I panic, everybody panics, I'm just trying to hold it together, you know, and well, well what are you going to do about this? Well, um, if it gets worse or gets infected, then come back and see us. What? Lyme's disease isn't something you fool around with. Well, they did give her some prednisone. She came out of there, and um, her sister, Elizabeth, who took her, said, looked it up and said, well, you know, the prednisone could make it worse and blah, 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 blah. So they came home, and they didn't get the prednisone, and so she took a couple of Benadryl and went to bed, and the next morning, she got up, and she couldn't even walk. I'm not kidding. She could not walk, and she was screaming, and she was crying because it hurt so bad. Well, we got to go back and get that prednisone, so we throw her in the car. We zoom back there to get the prescription because it's at uh, Kaiser, and um, so we run in and get the, uh, the prescription, and this is the if you know there's always something funny that could happen well her sister who was the one that was driving and her and I we ran into the to the hospital there to get the prescription or the urgent care and um, she couldn't figure out why she was having a hard time you know shuffling up to the the door you know and she looks down and she still had her fuzzy black slippers on and she had, Katie had scared the death to death, scared us to death, that she just ran out of the house. She did change out of her pajamas, but she had left her fuzzy slippers on. And uh, we looked down, and there they are. And we were laughing so hard. At least she had little red toes peeking out there too. So, um, but uh, so we got the prednisone. Said Katie, take take the first dose right now, which was two of them bottled water. By the time we got home, which was about mm, 35 minutes away, um, she was feeling a little better. She went, she laid down, she took a nap, she got up. She was feeling so much better. And I don't know if any of you have had experience with prednisone. It can be a terrible thing in a prolonged situation, but for a temporary or an immediate fix for something that's going on, I have taken it before and it took away whatever it took away a month of pain for me in my joints I had had shingles and it was all a combination of things and anyway so she's doing better today she her rash is still there but there's no more um, there's no more uh, uh, lesions or anything like that she is making an appointment tomorrow and I'll be taking her over to get her blood tested and everything. But she has to teach on um, Wednesday. But she is feeling better. She was feeling so good today that she got her room clean and got ready for her work. So we're very, very grateful for that. Anyway, that was my big um, to-do over the weekend. You know, scared us to death. Anytime it's your children, scares you to death. Um, anyway, but as far as my goals go for this coming year... I thought, you know what, I'm, I, last year um, was great, you know, I did, I did a few things, you know, I got my cot or my crib, my vintage crib, which was such a fine, I loved it, and I got my dresser, my uh, uh, changing table dresser drawers, and I got this 
the little, um, I forgot what you call that. It just totally slipped my mind. Baby nest. I got that, and I've got I got a couple of um, reborns. I sold some, and um, but so, and then you know we we went through the community with all of the crazy things that went on, and I hope that this year none of those crazy things happen, and I just want to stay out of it if it does, and. But I think everybody has calmed down and seen reason by this time. And but I um, got this from my friend for Christmas, and it's a journal, and it's pretty thick. But I, what I love about it is, is it has these tabs here. And one of the things I am going to be doing this year is I am going to be doing far more reborns and I want to start up doing customs and I am doing I'm working on two right now and I'm doing one right now for Katie with my little world and it's coming along beautifully and I'm starting to root um, that one and very happy with the way it's turning out she's very happy with the way it's turning out I send pictures all the time to her so that's great and then I have a small um, a small baby that I'll be doing for somebody here in the reborn community um, after I get done with that and so um, I did go ahead and get back on Etsy and I opened my shop up again on Etsy it's been like three years so I, I reopened it and um, I sold a lot of customs through my Etsy shop I'd love to change the name um, and all that but you know it's the way it is and anyway I have uh, Saskia up there for custom and Scarlet right now available for uh, customs so I have that and um, so with this journal that I'm doing I'm I've got this part for right now is my palettes that I'm doing um, I'm writing down all the painting how I did the painting on each doll and the palette that I use so I don't forget and um, the paint color and the tone and all that and then here will be my goals for my channel I'm going to be far more organized about that and this is my goals for my dolls and uh, one thing that I did realize is I am a doll collector I'm not just a reborn collector I am a doll collector and I have, as you know, my Cabbage Patch Kids. I do still have some of my Marie Osmond dolls, which I have stopped collecting. Um, there, I only have maybe five or six that I held on to from all of them that I had before. But one day I will show those. Um, but I probably will keep proceeding with my Cabbage Patch. I love those, and I do like the people that are involved in the community. And there's another um, I've been watching a few other channels about a certain other doll that is very collectible and um, I never thought I would get involved with those or get interested in those but I have and I've actually purchased one and it's coming and so when it gets here I'll do a video on that but anyway I'm going to do some diversification because I think that holds all of our interest when we do and um, at least for me it does I love seeing everybody's babies but I love seeing their new babies and I love seeing other types of dolls too so um, I'm gonna go ahead and expand on that and I'm pretty happy with the way my collection is going right now um, with my reborns um, I don't ha I have six I think I I've really got to calculate that up and you all know them but I'm very happy with who they are and I will be making myself one and I don't know when I'll get that one done but that one will be a forever baby when I get it finished when I even start it and get it finished but that that might pro poss quite possibly be the only reborn I get for this year will be that one and then we'll see what happens next year and that's the beauty of this hobby but I feel really good because I have a place to put my dolls I have um, it's fun to come into my 
um, guest room where I have um, all my doll stuff because nobody's ever in the guest room. Um, so it, I have that going on and um, it's just fun to kind of hang out here and do this and it's a great hobby and I love it. Anyway, so that's those are my goals. A little diversification, um, doing my customs, repaint, painting more this year than I did last year, and um, improving my skills with that. I've been on my um, forum for the Artists of Reborn Creations, and um, there's some, you know, very advanced people there that I love and that I'm um, friends with too and they um, there is now a new technique and I'm always looking for that so I have copied her tutorial and I have purchased uh, what I need to do to do this and I am gonna try that technique and try to get get very good at it because I really do love the dimension that it adds to the reborns as you're painting them. You still use Genesis heat paints, but this is to enhance that paint. Anyway, okay, I think that's it, but oh yes, and to make more consistent videos. That's a big goal of mine, is to bring to you, my lovely subscribers and friends, a little bit more interesting topics um, uh, about reborning, about the doll world, about other dolls, and to be more consistent in making the videos and be more on top of that. So thank you for hanging in there with me with all of this. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing Miss Camille. And I'm wishing you all a very happy new year.